To what extent are you part of the problem here? I mean, have you ever pushed for federal aid? For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Now, some folks are gathering for a news conference. Uh, let's see what that's about. Can you tell me a little bit about what the news conference is about? I'll actually have you speak to Scott Spradley. Pardon? I'll have you speak to Scott Spradley. Oh, who's he? He is the, uh, the head of the Fix the Debt for New Hampshire. Fix the Debt for New Hampshire.com? Yep. Okay. Fix, fix the Debt. Yep. Scott. All right. Yep. Sounds good. <laughs> so, uh, some progressive folk are here, so uh, uh, I'm going to be wanting to know if the Fix for the Debt is taxes. <laughs> For those of you who have not had the opportunity to meet, my name is Donnelly Lozal and I serve as the mayor of the city of Nashville. I'm here this morning with a group of folks behind me because we want to talk about uh, the national debt. I know it might seem a little bit unusual to think that you've got some local elected officials and some state elected officials uh, wanting to talk about the national debt. But let me tell you about a little story. About a year and a half ago, uh, Senator Judd Gregg uh, came to Nashville and was a speaker at the Chamber of Commerce in a way to find solutions to difficult problems. It's something that I think, as many of you know, there is a national organization, Fix the Debt. This is basically our New Hampshire chapter. Lost on me, however, that when local mayors or... Yes, You're holding this Yes. Um, the devil, as they always say, is in the details. And while this is a bipartisan organization from different parties and different walks of life, um, in order to really fix this thing, you really have to look at a whole bunch of different components, even beyond Simpson Bowles. A uh, question for you, Ms. Lozo. Um, to what extent are you part of the problem here? I mean, have you ever pushed for federal aid for Nashua? Have I ever pushed for federal aid for Nashua? I don't think so. Uh, not yet. Uh, have we asked for uh, funds for the city from time to time? Sure, over the years we have. Uh, just so happened that under my administration that's when they started talking about not having earmarks any longer. Um, no, as I said in my remarks, I, I, I expect that this is going to hurt. On the local level, I expect it's going to hurt on the state level, I expect it's going to hurt on the federal level. The problem is just so huge that we all have to take a little bit of pain to make it work. And 